Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Live with Nance. An hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from Corona, California. It's good to see you guys. It's show number 431 right now, or this episode. Not right now, the whole hour is going to be show 431. And let's see who is joining us. But before we do that, let's find out about people on the other side. Where are they at and if they can join us? Hello, people from the other side. Where are you? Are you still alive? Yes. Come on. They, I see. I sense some movement. Here we go. Share now. Okay. Perfect. Good to see you. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's see what we got here. Okay. And... All right. And let's see, show number 431. Here we go. Sarah, how are you? Welcome to the show. Come on, everyone. Becky Attenbury, hello. Rita, good to see you. Come on over, people. Matthew Dirks having a heat wave, Wisconsin. It started to cool off this week in California. Last week it was 90, 100. This week, 77. So far, good. Hello, everyone. Rochelle is here. Rochelle is going to be my guest tomorrow on the podcast. And uh, so we'll talk a little bit later about that. Oh, is that James Blind? The James Blind? I heard this is where all the cool kids hang out to exchange. Gazpacho soup recipes. Who goes first? I'll go first. What is a gazpacho? I, ha I know a garbanzo soup, but not gazpacho soup. Okay, Rochelle, can't wait to hear you on Naz's podcast tomorrow. Yes, people, Mr. Spatula is here. Hello. Oh, Keto's here. Hello from Cool Redmond. Three Oregonians on the same show in one night. Can we handle it? Yes. All right. Crazy weather yesterday and today. Six inches of snow. That's what I heard. I thought Oregon is also schools were closed. It's snowing where you're at. It's 77 where we're at. Hey, and people are leaving California. My. All right, Dolores is here. Hello, Dolores. And Mr. Keto, officially good to see you. Amy is here. Hello, Amy. How are you from Highland, California? We have bipolar weather, right? All right, Bobby's here. Hello, Bobby. Rochelle, hopefully it'll be entertaining and encouraging. It will be, trust me. I... Okay, tomorrow, Rochelle, I can't even say her right name, Weathern. Rochelle Weathern is a single mom with six kids. I can go an hour on that, just being a single mom with six kids. Okay, put that aside, then add to it, she drives a dump truck. She drives a dump truck for a living. That, another 15 minutes, we talk about that. And then she had struggles in her life, and she overcame them. So that's going to be encouraging to a lot of people. I'll just It'll be fun to talk to Rochelle. I mean, she has so much going on in her life. So I would like to know. Because some people complain and gripe. They have one kid, and they're married, and they have, you know, the mom and the dad, and they're complaining and griping. So tomorrow we'll shut them off. I mean, not that I want to shut off people. Uh, speaking of shutting people off, I don't want to start on a bad note. But six months ago, a guy asked me, he has, you know, he does finance, loans. Has nothing to do with me, with comedy. He said, oh, I'm thinking of starting a podcast, okay? Uh, maybe I'll have you on it. I like to help people out, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I'm venting. This is venting. I have to put venting. Here we go. We're starting with venting. It's a bad start on a Monday, but hey. So anyway, so the guy goes, um, eh, uh, I don't know. I think I want to start the podcast. I'd like you to be on it. So uh, you know what? We're coming out of COVID. Still, I'm working hard to get my gigs up, you know, just to get more shows, to make up for two years of no no income. So I'm working hard. So I told him, I said, you know what? I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, you're just starting out. I don't, once you get it going, maybe you can have me on it. 
I mean, you're just starting out. So anyway, so I don't hear from this guy. He sent me this email today. I was sending a, a newsletter. He sent me. Uh, he goes, Remember when you turned my invitation to be a guest on my podcast, stating my show was too young? You missed out, sir. I have produced 20 plus shows and my number of downloads is skyrocketing, approaching nearly a thousand in five months. I love it when people discount my abilities. Thank you for that. A God-fearing man builds up, not tears down. Please take me off your subscriber list, which I did. Okay, don't give me a Bible verse when you're just giving me, you know, this is, I don't know. So this is what I reacted with. I prayed about it, and this is what I said. I'm so happy you're doing great. I never doubted that. We were coming out of two years of no shows, COVID, and I had to be wise with my time. So glad God is blessing you, Comedian Nazareth. That's it. I'm done venting. I sometimes, that's what happened when you're a Christian. When you, you sign the contract, oh Lord Jesus, I'm going to follow you. Guess what? You got to turn the other cheek. And I think that's what I did. And my neck is still hurting from turning the other cheek. Should have done, but no, I turned the other cheek. I'm not saying, I'm not bragging about this. I'm not saying to, to say anything. But please, if you wanna, if you're mad at somebody and you're just, you know, taking it personal, don't, don't, don't add a Bible verse to it, please. Please don't add a Bible verse to it. There's so many verses in the Bible I can use for anything. Hey, it was nice meeting you, and Jesus wept. Boom, right away. I can I can add <laughs> verses. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what what Bible verses you can use when people really upset you. It's like, or you meet someone and just throw a Bible verse, just hit them in left field. Like, like, let me think. I I, I need to think of something funny. Let's say, was, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you know, it's like, hey, that was a great meal. Thank you for reminding me. I remember, it's not what goes into a man that defiles a man, but what comes out of a man that defiles him. And I threw up after I ate it. No, I don't know. I'm just being silly. Well, <laughs> I know. Misuse this. That range of motion in your neck. Thank you. Good work, Ness. Sorry he was being weaponizing the word with you. That stink. It does. For a while, I was like, and on the third day, God created dummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't he a ray of sunshine? He sure is. You guys are funny. This is good. I'm feeling great already. I'm not saying narcissist, but uh, you know, that's, that's a sign. That's a sign. Oh, Eddie. Yeah, don't bring God into the bad attitude. Boo. <laughs> Open the windows for venting. <laughs> when we get back to recording again, we do want you to be on the left. I would love to be on it. You know why? It's comedy. It's what I do. Don't ask me to do a podcast about finance and loans. I don't know anything about that. Hmm? I don't. I don't know, but I would like to be on your show because I need to find a Bible verse for that. <laughs> for with the sound of trumpet <laughs> and <laughs> the dead in Christ will rise first and we who are still alive will follow. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. <laughs> Just venting sign. Venting with Naz, yes. I don't want to start on a bad note. That's too late. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. God bless this guy's heart. Yeah, bless his heart. Uh, maybe you might want to go. This, there's a time to kill. And yeah. And it, yeah, that's funny. Bad company corrupts good character, and you just couldn't risk it. 
Financing in Finland, we missed you. Art, how are you? You should be on that podcast with that guy. Ah, taking notes. Make sure you ask Naz about loans and comedy. <laughs> he must know Lot's wife a little salty <laughs> there, wasn't it? Yep. All righty. Well, let me just think of this. My wife's friend, I was thinking of that. She came from overseas once. She wanted to visit. So she called Mahan. She said, I'm, I'm here in the U.S. and I would love to come see you. It's from her school. She was in her school. You know, they grew up together. So my wife got excited. She cleaned and tidied the house. She bought some flowers. She put one of her cousin's kids' picture on the fridge. You know, that, that, that person that's coming, one of her kids. She put her kids in the fridge. Then she, she made me take a shower and dress nice and be there. It's like, you know, I want you to look good. I want you, can you put some nice clothes on, take a shower and everything. I guess I was an extension of the furniture. That's how I felt. Oh, the house is nice. Now I have to look nice too. Men don't do that. You know, when my friends or relatives from school want them to visit, I don't care what the house looks like. I just wash the car. Hey, look at the car. I don't care how bad, you know, our wives look that day, man. The fact that we got married is enough to impress our guy friends. I can't be that bad. Someone wanted to spend the rest of their life with me. Dad, that's it. I'm done. I don't care what she looks like. I don't care if she was, took a shower or didn't. I don't care if a house is a mess. I am married. I got married. Well, not mar not to brag about being married. It's not. It's just about I got, you know, someone wants to be with me. Also, I was thinking of this today. You know, people don't sympathize with people who have who are immigrant, who don't speak good English, who can't read in English. When I first came to this country, I went um it was a, I thought it was a singles group. But I went there, everybody was itching. It was a shingles group. I didn't know if it was shingles. I couldn't read the ish. I said, single, oh, shingles group. I'm going to go, I'm single. So I went there and everybody's like, ow, ow, ow. It's a shingles group. <laughs> okay, I'm being silly. Making up for that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys just brush their teeth so they burp. Oh, the comments are going to be I heard me saying hello to some of you. Hello, hello, hello. I am an indoor pet. <laughs> Shingles, yeah. Nah. Okay, now <laughs> you're cracking me up. Good. Rosetti is here. Shingles in Seattle. <laughs> All right. Last. Friday night, I asked you the question, worst name for a hair product? In the 60s, you could say, give me some skin at the shingles group. <laughs> give me some. Give some me skin. All right. Worst name for a hair product? At number 20, Gorilla Glue. At number 19, Grease. At 18, Hair Care for Dummies. At 17, WWE Hair Wrestlers. At number 16, Hair Today, Gone Tomorrow. At 15, burning scalp conditioner. At number 14, nair and despair. At number 13, sasquatch. At number 12, miracle mop. At number 11, 90% water, 10% promises. Okay, worst name for a hair product. At number 10, 2001 brushes. Number 9, poo your do. At number 8, shed and shoulders. At number seven, Delilah's hair care line. At number six, Tangled. At number five, Drain Clogger. At number four, Larry, Moe, and Curly. <laughs> At number three, Instant Bald. At number two, Lice and Easy. Not nice. And the number one, I thought it was funny, Jada. I thought that was hilarious. Whoever said that, Jada, that was, that was killer. Okay, the Burning Man Hair Festival. Okay, you all have to step out for just a bit to put the pies in the oven, but I'm still listening. All right, here we go again with the food. 
Hello all, I saw John's dry bar, small part of it. Thank you. Philip and sing had shingles before. Shingle bells, <laughs> shingle bells. <laughs> In the oh, that's funny. <laughs> Can, I, can you put shingle in a song or a movie? Come on, let's do that. It wasn't in my mind, but let's put that. Use the word shingle in a song or a movie <laughs> since you started. Use the word shingles <laughs> in a song or a movie title. You had me at shingle. <laughs> shingles all the way. <laughs> That's funny. To pay or not to pay, that is the question, right? Shingles are my favorite ship. <laughs> Pringles. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You got a couple, Catherine. Good. I know, Poo, you do. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's funny. Somewhere over the shingles. All the shingle ladies. <laughs> You guys are funny. This is good. This is going to be good. Out of chocolate, but rummaging around and found some bacon chocolate chips. Go for it. You complete me, shingle. <laughs> oh, that's funny, guys. Okay. <laughs> Use shingles in a word. The sound of shingles as the shingle turns. Sarah, go turn the pies. How can you have time to write? That's good. In the heat of the shingle. Yeah, that's right. You get the heat. Shingles at high noon. <laughs> shingle bell, shingle bell, shingles all the way. Just the way you shingle. I'm hanging out my shingle. <laughs> it's not Christmas yet. Twist and shingle. <laughs> you will be twisting. Shingles in Seattle. Somewhere over the shingles. I got kicked in the shingle. <laughs> I'm sorry, James. That must have hurt. I got kicked in the shingle. You can't handle the shingles. No, I can't. Oh, man, that is so funny. That's the word shingles. Okay, Snow White and the Seventh Shingle. Shingle, shingle, little star. Shape of shingles, top shingle of on Ed Sheeran's medical music play. Go ahead, make my shingle. Will Smith's new song. <laughs> okay, back to the pies now. All right. Jesus, take the shingles. <laughs> Oops, I shingled again. <laughs> Rosetti, <laughs> shingle in Seattle. Shingles Twister movie. Oh, man. Watch out for the shingle in the water. <laughs> I will always shingle you. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. That's so comforting. Deja shingle. <laughs> I'm in the mood for shingles. The shingle of music. <laughs> oh, man. I'm in the mood for shingle. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. It's just you guys make me laugh. You got to go to a beautiful. All right. All right, let's keep shingling along. Let's shingle along. Fancy shingle or shingle like. A shingle to run through it. Ain't nothing but a shingle boy. <laughs> Shingles boy. I take your pox and raise your shingle. <laughs> the last shingles. Come and look me up sometimes, shingles. <laughs> it's just funny. Ah, emergency shingle show, <laughs> shingle loose. You are the roof, I am the shingle. <laughs> Can't take my shingles off of you. <laughs> Garth Brooks has shingles in low places. Ah, oh, take me out to the shingles. Another shingle bites the dust. Shingle and the Legend of the Ring. <laughs> it's a small shingle after all. That's good, Becky. Shingling you out. Shingle, shingle with the wind. 
Shingles on my shoulder makes me <laughs> Shingles on my shoulders make me makes me happy. Shingles almost always make me high. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the shingles. <laughs> Things a man are a shingle by Lane Wilson. He ain't heavy, he's my shingle. <laughs> Can you guys show me if you're laughing? Am I the only one laughing? <laughs> Hey, I gotta see a funny laugh emoji, guys, please. I need to know you're laughing or else this is not worth it. I'm crying here. Shake and shingle. Shingle luck to me. <laughs> easy shingle, easy go. <laughs> Nothing but shingles coming out. Oh no, Bobby. <laughs> not master. You are the shingles beneath my wind. My skin, you mean. <laughs> That's good. Famous shingles by Chris Young. Goner with the shingles. Gone with the shingles. Shingles of the Lost Ark. <laughs> Loving shingles song. Oh, shingles loves me. This I know. <laughs> For the doctor. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> funny <laughs> private shingles <laughs> keep looking man ah ah it's all going down the shingles <laughs> a fist full of shingles oh man that must have hurt <laughs> the sound of shingles pet imagine there's no shingles That's good. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys, we forgot to hydrate. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, man. <laughs> Insta shingle. Just add water. I'm laughing at you crying. Let it shingle. Let it shingle. Frozen. Bohemian shingle. Oh, he's got the whole shingles in his hand. Oh man, you make me, <laughs> you make me tingle, shingle. That's one of the symptoms, right? I have tingly shingles. I love rock and shingles. The wizard of shingles. The shingle who loved me. Comfortably shingle. What shingles got to do with it? Oh. We don't talk shingles. No, no, no. <laughs> Lawrence of shingles. Fifty shades of shingles. Oh, that must have hurt. Naz, you're crying. is starting to make me crying. <laughs> That's good. Living on a shingle. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire shingles. Shingles on the main line. Do you want to build a shingle? Psycho shingles. Head and shingles. <laughs> Take my shingles, precious Lord. <laughs> That's Michelle. Prayer time is nine twenty-three. Okay, just save it when we pray. <laughs> After you hear the bells, take my shingles, precious Lord. <laughs> Talking about my shingles, you can't handle the shingles. The Sultan of shingles, shingle, shingle, little star, wings of a shingle, Lord of the shingles, Rex, good one, the best shingles of our lives. <laughs> It's a shingle word after all. Touch the shingles of his garment. Oh man. Sorry guys. Ah. When I laugh, I have to cry like that. It's been a while. It's been a while since we laughed like that. But hey, who knew we we're going to laugh at shingles? <laughs> I bet you next time anybody gets shingles, you're going to start laughing instead of being in pain. Uh, but make sure, rebel without a <laughs> Good for him, this rebel without shingles. Saturday night shingles. The shingle in the stone. Shingles, do you know? <laughs> I'm so shingle. <laughs> Harry Potter and the goblets of shingles. So <laughs> like shingles. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's painful, Rita. Some like shingles hut. <coughs> shingles, did you know? Oh man. Shingles in the rain. Return of the shingles. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> oh no, that's bad. Return for whom the shingles toll. The lost shingles. Bow shingles. <laughs> All above Eve shingles. You're the shingle in my wind. <laughs> shingle wars. All right, Otto. Good. Shingles in the sky <laughs> with them. <diamonds. laughs> <laughs> He's going for the Beatles. Oh, Ferris Shingles Day Off. MCIS Shingles. <laughs> the detect Whatever happened to Baby Shingle? <laughs> PSA. If you had chicken pox as a child, make sure you get your shingle shots. Two of them. Back to life with Nat. I need to get them, yeah. I need to get them. Because I had chicken pox. I have rooster pox. I had fowl pox. I've had... I've had it all. Shine, Shanghai shingles. Oh, you know I'm all about that bass. About that bass, no shingles. <laughs> the shingle father. An affair and shingles to remember. Itchy shingles movie. Itchy all the way. It's boils and shingles for dinner. Oh no, Bobby. Shingles from heaven. Shingle wars. Shingles on a plane. <laughs> I'm in bed. I'm all shingled up. Oh, oh Elvis. <laughs> King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Shingle. Oh, man. Oh, spreading the shingles. <laughs> Rock around the shingles tonight. <laughs> Sarah, I shot the shingle. A shingles to remember. Who let the shingles out? Work nine to shingles. The sh the Shawshank shingles, Doctor Anthony shingles, the shingle night. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh this is funny, man. I need to put a Bible verse on this shingle thing. Oh, the Lord gives, the Lord takes away, the shingles. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Senator Shingles, I think I shingle you. <laughs> shingle club of fight or fight shingle. Shingles appreciation day. Walk a mile in my shingle shoes. I fell into a burning ring of shingles. I went down, 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 and the shingles went higher. Sh singing in the shingles. Oh, man. Oh, Senator Shingles, I think I, let's see. I had chicken pox and mumps and the other M sickness. Round and round we go. Nobody knows where the shingles stop. 10,000 shingles, oh no. Shingle bells, the good, the bad, and the shingle. <laughs> Mr. Shingles goes to Washington. Hey, Lily, how are you? Hello, hello. We are talking shingles here. Give us a song or a movie title with the word shingle in it. Saving Private Shingle. Tarzan of the Shingles. Skin Wars. <laughs> Revenge of the Shingles. <laughs> ah, haven't got time for the shingles. The devil went down to shingles. Mass shingles. It's a wonderful <laughs> shingles. Oh, shingle, where art thou? 20,000 shingles under the sea. Miracle on 34 shingles. President Shingles and Vice President Puss. Ouch! My achy breaky shingles. Mr. Popper's shingles. Oh man, come a little bit closer, shingles. Shingles again. CMT shingles. Will you be my shingle? Oh. Lily, this all started when I, long, long time ago, I went to a singles group, singles gathering. Found out everybody was itching. It was a shingles gathering. And we started the question of, you know, name a song, to add shingle to a song or a movie title. Shingles again, CMT shingle. Will you be my shingle? Mars needs shingles. 
field of shingles. Oh man, honey, I shrunk the shingles. Good. <laughs> Mr. Shingles goes to Washington. Sunny with a chance of shingles. The shingles show. I want to hold your shingles. <laughs> Shingle this. The shingles and the furious. Beat it, shingles. Shingles house show. The dirty shingle. Hunk tong, hunky tonk shingles. Shingles reject. Magical mystery shingles. <laughs> Shingle dancing before he shingles. <laughs> Shingleness is a gift from God. <laughs> shingles list, Schindler's list. <laughs> Whose bed have you shingle been under? Pat, how to train your shingle. Friday night shingles. The golden shingle girls <laughs> sitting on the dock of the shingles. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, can we change the question? Are we? Are we ready? Happy together, shingles. The boy with the striped shingles. Oh no. My cousin shingles. I want you back, shingles. Blue suede shingles. Go ahead and make my shingle. Shingle trick. My miss my shingle will go on and on. Titanic. Oh no. They take a while sometimes. It's a wonderful shingle. All right, Monty. Pulp shingles, 25 or 6 shingles. Okay, the apple pies are in the oven. Good, let's change the question. 9 o'clock, people, hydrate and share. Okay, here's an senior. Give me worst name or a slogan for an interior designer. This came from Rita. Worst name or slogan for an interior designer. Bit of shingles. Oh man, oh man. All right, all 87 people hydrate and share. Color my shingles. Hydrate and shingle, people. <laughs> You're shingled. Bed of shingles, beauty and the shingle, <laughs> good one. The ten shingles, back to the shingle. What happens in shingle town stays in shingle town. Free shingles. Okay. Color. Okay, this is what Rita came up with. Okay, worst name for an interior designer. It's curtains. It's curtains for you. Colorblind interior designers will put the rug out from under you. We'll pull the rug out from under you. We have no room for you. Blind customers get a discount. Sarah said, colorblind designs. You're the shingle of my eye. <laughs> Folly Wally paper. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Welcome. My garbage, your living room. Bless this mess. <laughs> That's good. Sloppy's Designers. The Chosen is on right now on Up TV this week. Thank you, Amy. Hoarder's Designer. Our paint has the runs. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Welcome. Alibaba and the 40 Shingles. <laughs> the little mess of mine. This little mess of mine. Interior decoration. Musty Designer. <laughs> Crappy interiors. We take free crap and make your house extra crappy. I get a discount. <laughs> we hide it under the rug. Imbalanced perspectives. That's funny, Becky. Imbalanced perspectives. <laughs> Blondes. Nothing but stitches. Shingles and shiplap designs. <laughs> Let us arrange your pain. Stunning. Mortuary designs. Finger painters ink. <laughs> Grease. Always outdated. <laughs> That's funny. We rip it to you. Second hand designer. Second hand designers. Amy and Lily. Same time. Wow. Paint by numbers design. 
unfocused and out of scale. <laughs> Interior design, that's funny art. Paints by number design will just add a throw pillow. <laughs> OCD design will make your OCD senses tingle. We nail it. Pyromaniac Interiors Inc. will set your place on fire. Out of date before we finish. All you need is a match. <laughs> designers. Just trying to keep up. Desperate designers. <laughs> we open and close the door. 70s game show prize decorator. Retro. Uh oh. <laughs> Reusable designs. Crooked <laughs> in more ways than one. Inferior. <laughs> That's funny, Jim. Inferior designers. <laughs> Property brother rejects. My ideas and your money. Right. You have to be a true artist to appreciate what we're about to do. All messed up. Thrift store designs. Oops. An interior design firm. Have a great day and an awesome week. Please pray. We will. For one of our friends, his mom is in hospice care. Expected to move to eternity very, very soon. We will pray for her. Thank you, Timothy. Couch potato designs. Glitter bombs. Shoots and ladders design. No straight angles. It's alligator print. The flowers of 60s. <laughs> Good one, Amy. Cottage cord apples. Ah. This old dump. <laughs> Move that wall designs. Designs for the blind. No off no offense, James. <laughs> If we wanted your opinion, we would tell you. Have to be slightly insane to appreciate our style. Warped. Popeye designs. Ha hippie happy. Graffiti and you. <laughs> Dog park designs. Just keep it and it'll be back in style in 20 years. Portland Urban Homeless Design Firm. We make you, we make your house as authentic as a Portland homeless camp. Destructo Derby Designers. Padded walls. Declutter designs. We clear all the clutter. Thanks for your stuff. All right. Wrecking ball designs. <laughs> Leaning Tower of Pizza. Interior design. Doobie Bingo Dots. Born in a born designs. <laughs> oh, he should know. <laughs> you deserve a laugh, Mr. Pat. <laughs> Lola Crayola designs. Oh, man. Silly putty designers. The holy designers. We blew it up first. Okay, keep them coming. Okay. Okay. Reading, here we go. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, the holy designer, so the, the holy designer, we blew it up first. Raise room, we'll do all the breaking for you. PPND, peaceful protesters and designers. Welcome to Oregon. 12th century designers. 
former Titanic designers, Inc. Color crayons designers. Three blind mice. That's good. Not worth the money. My dad hired me. <laughs> that is a bad company. I'm not high. I'm not using you guys. My dad hired me design firm. 21st century outhouses. Mono. <laughs> Monotone design, paper machete design. Bone cancer is very painful. Please keep praying for all. But all right, we will, Timothy, at 923. Do it yourself, interior designs. We will watch you do all the work. The cardboard box designers make your new cardboard house. Interior shingles, blind sign designs, Hansel and Griddles. Your business is our business. Seriously, we will find dirt on you. <laughs> Can't sleep with all that's going on in the room. Hi, home now. Pastor Raul says, hi, Naz. Thank you, Michael. Welcome. Do over designs. Colorblind designs. Give me a chance. Novice <laughs> Interior Design Company. <laughs> Unemployed former Fresh Princess. All right. Parole interior painting. Bleh. All right. Single color designs. 1990s cutting edge designs. Sure. Tagger designs. All right. Throw it away. Start new. Authentic ancient Roman. You love our toilets. Spatulas, spatulas everywhere. Spatulas. Right. Eeny, meeny, mo designers. Dreams and latrines. <laughs> Three Little Pigs Designers, Will Smith Slap Together Interior Designer, All Things Yellow Designs, Dump Truck Designers, uh-oh, be careful, Amy, our guest tomorrow, <laughs> uh, Knock Off Ikea, like Ikea only crappier, <laughs> Splat and Go, <laughs> well, that's a flip. This is funny tonight. The interior design practice. We practice on your place. Goth kids designs. Oh, man. Flip this mess designer. <coughs> Castles of Sand Beach front designers. <laughs> Animal house designers. Alrighty, it is time. Slap and go designers. The chosen designer. Avocado blast. <laughs> Dumpster divers designs. Igloos are us. <laughs> Alrighty. Are you guys ready? Hello, Catherine. Oh, Michael is just coming. Okay. Hillbilly Designs. We're better than the rednecks. Fang Sway. Fang Sway. It's like Fang Shui, but it's a little different. Kiss the Designer. Slap on slap off, slap on slap off designers, grims and aches designers, short on time, call the hospice design team today, <laughs> Lego designers, Flintstone designs, Bin Laden's Inc., dumpsters, divers designs. All right, it's 9.15, it's time to hydrate and share people. Okay, and now it is time for the Guinness Book of World Record. Guinness Book of World Record, people. Clap on, clap off, theater, design, habitat for any human. <laughs> 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 
That's funny. Counterproductive counters. All right, let's see. Lost marbles counters. Edible living room arrangements. Who needs furniture the last? When you can have furniture, you can eat. Wow. I can eat the couch right now. Hunter Biden interior design is as good as his art. The replacement designers. All right. Time for the Guinness Book of World Record, people. Today is National Pet Day. National Pet Day. And the record for the most air flights by a pet belongs to a domestic cat called Smarty. And in 2005, she broke the world's record for the most flights. All of Smarty's flights have been trips between Cairo, Egypt and... Laranca, Larnaca, Larnaca, Cyprus. Oh, it's the capital of Cyprus. So this cat just keeps going from Cairo to Larnaca, from Egypt to Cyrus with her owners, Peter and Carol Godfrey from the UK, who lived in Cairo, Egypt. How many trips did this cat, Smarty, make to make it to the Guinness Book of World Record? Over one trip. Under 250 trips. Over one trip, under 250. Give me your best guesses without looking it up. The replacement hot mess designer National Pet Day. Yeah, I copy Becky today. <laughs> okay, Debbie, you can copy your sisters or relatives or any family member. That's part of the game. If you are... Related to any family member who wins, you can't. The replacement designer, let's see. Benji went to the vet, got his shots too. Alibaba and his 40 designers. <laughs> I copy Lily. Okay, 184 trips, 210 for Amy. Lily, is the cat still alive? Well, that was in 2005, so I don't know. She broke the record in 2005. Snarky Smarty flew 249, 248, or 247 trips. Michelle Van Dusen said 225, 125, and 49. And let's see, 150, 200, 299 for Sarah, 98 for Amy. Becky Vos said 235, 147, and 77. Chris, is the answer times nine lives? No. <laughs> 299 for Timmy. Bobby said 15, 20, and 25. Fauci furniture. The rooster Ruben Red Hen are planning on catching up, of course, on Smarties. 199 for Timothy. 53, 111, 155 for Rita. Becky Ottenberry, 56, 136, 176. Michael, I relate to Lily. Nancy, 101, 173, 237. Aki Bones Designers for Bobby. 1976 and 162 for Dolores. And let's see. Uh, okay. 50, 180 for Debbie Malone. Was she the pilot, co pilot, or a passenger? Passenger. 67, 187. And bye again. I gotta go. All right, Timothy will be praying for your friend's mother. Clear designers. All righty. Did everybody guess? Sold. 159, 149, and 59 for Lily. Sold. 111, 215, and 300 for Matthew. It's under 250, Matthew. So you get one more guess. Going once. 159, 149, and 59 for Michael Ramirez, who happened to copy Lily Navas. 67, 77, and 87 for Rochelle. Okay. 
Going once, going twice. Come on, Matthew, give us one more number and we're ready to give you the numbers. Lily, <laughs> sold, sold. I won't, I know. I'm waiting for Wisconsin. It's a little far from California. One more number. All right, Amy, one more number and we'll be right there. Going once, the Venetian blinds. <laughs> That's funny. That's a funny name for interior design. 223 for Matthew. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This cat, Smarty, have flown 79 times. 79 times. So, Debbie Malone is the winner with 80. Now, Becky Voth was at 77, which she was winning. And then Rochelle was at 77, 8, 77 as well. But it, the number is 79, and the closest number to it was 80 by Debbie Malone. Before that, it was Becky Voth who came up with 77. So three people came up with 77, and the one that won is 80. So Debbie Malone... Congratulations on winning this beautiful toilet paper. Alrighty, it is time for... Okay, let me just clarify something. When someone asked me to pray... Before 9.23, I'm not being insensitive unless it's like a, an urgent matter, like, hey, I'm in the ER or this, my friend's the ER right now. We just called 911. Yes, we're going to stop the show and pray. Now, if someone said, can you pray for this? Can you pray for that? Before 9.23, we will play, we'll, ask, we'll ask for prayer requests at 9.23. Okay, this is, a, this is a comedy show. I'm a Christian, yes. And I do have seven minutes every single night for your prayers, so we can focus on that. That doesn't mean I'm insensitive to whatever you say. And we do remember, if you have to go and you go pray for this, we will pray for this. And we don't pray on the show, but we'll pray after the show. We pray early in the morning for you guys. So we love that. And spoken for Sarah, we'll be praying for you. By the way, Carol is completely healed. Thank you so much for your prayers. Finally, <laughs> okay, unspoken prayers for Lily. Okay, Lily will be praying for you. No doorbells. Under the window pane designers. I'll share second place for one third roll of talent. All right. So, unspoken for Bobby. All right. Totally get it, Naz. Roger that. Thank you, Sarah. Praise God for healing Carol. Amen. You guys, some of those prayers work. You know, they, they're they answered fast. Some take time. Some in the process. And some God says, wait. And some God says, um, I'll give you the grace to deal with it. Praise God for healing Carol. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, guys. So awesome. If anybody needs prayers, let me know. We will be praying for you guys. Beth, Beth's jaw still hurts from the accident. Please pray for healing. We will, Art, we'll pray for Beth. Uh, I'll ask for an update from Maggie Jo and her son's eye issue. But please still keep praying, keep praying. Good, good. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for your prayers. Prayers lifted for a speedy recovery. I just want to encourage you. I am in um, John... Chapter 20, when Jesus rose from the dead, I know next next Sunday we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. And it's just what a great, great moment. Because if it weren't for the resurrection, our, all, our whole faith is it just it's false. Might as well not even have faith if it weren't for the resurrection of Jesus Christ that was proved and confirmed and everything. There's no question about it. There's more facts about Jesus' resurrection than 
so many other things that you believe without questioning. I'm not Lee Strobel or Josh McDowell, but if you do want to know, uh, you know, read the case for Christ and read the um, evidence that demands a verdict by Josh McDowell. Great book. But when Jesus rose from the dead, the first of the week on that Sunday, that's why we gather together on Sunday. That's why we, and when he went, the disciples were gathered together on the first day of the week. They were scared. They were hiding. And uh, Jesus came in. He walked in. All the doors were locked. He didn't need doors to open for him. He, he came in and he said shalom to you. Shalom in the Hebrew means not just peace, like just peace be with you. It's just like good, good things. All these, it's, it, the meaning is so big with the word shalom. And that's what happened when Jesus is in our presence. When he comes to us, he says, peace, shalom to you. Peace be upon you. Because he's the Prince of Peace. Remember when the angels announced to the shepherds about Jesus. They said, glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and, and with people there's... Uh, in the, I know it in the original language. It means, you know, God's pleasure with his people. That's the three things that Jesus came for. He didn't just come for people to save us. He came to give glory back to God, to show who he is, to bring his peace. He's the Prince of Peace, to claim his right to this earth. And the third thing is to save us. And that the ones he chose, the ones that we talk about in John 17 when he was praying, those that you gave me, uh, in no way I lost, I lost none of them. But that's what brings joy to the Father, is the ones that he gave to Jesus. And they follow Jesus. And that's you and me. So, may God's peace be with you. It's just amazing. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Jesus said, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give you. Let not your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. Today I was reading in the Psalms, I think from Psalm 60, 60, 56 to 60, so many times, do not fear, do not fear. I will not fear, for you are with me. Do not fear. Do not fear. Whatever is scaring you right now, remember, Jesus can look at the situation and say, Shalom, peace be with you. He can give you that peace. The reason you're afraid because you don't have enough faith in the Lord to be able to handle the situation. Easier said than done. But uh, don't worry, Rochelle. You're going to do great tomorrow. Trust me, you're going to do great. You're not going to disappoint anybody. You're going to encourage people. So I want to encourage you tomorrow to join us at 6.30 p.m. And also, if you have any questions for Rochelle, a single mom with six, you have any questions for her, please ask them during the event, during the podcast tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. May God's peace be with you. We love you. We're praying for Timothy Fakhouri's friend's mom that's, you know, meeting the Lord right now. Hope I don't know. I mean, that, that could be the best answer to our prayer, is that she goes to be with the Lord as a believer. So, love you guys. Thank you for encouraging one another. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for the laughter. You killed me tonight. <laughs>